Hello, uh, welcome to another video from Accounting How. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Partnership Appropriation Account. If you haven't already done so, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel and like and share the videos. And you can also follow us on Twitter at Accounting How. Just before we begin the first question, a quick word on the appropriation account itself. The appropriation account forms part of the income statement for a partnership and essentially is the, the final bit of the income statement. You, hopefully you will be familiar with an income statement for a sole trader, which finishes with the profit for the year. And in a partnership, the appropriation account is a section that follows on from the profit for the year. And by appropriate, we essentially mean to allocate various amounts um, to partners for different reasons. Let's have a look then. Um, as always, if it's a topic you're familiar with, you may decide to pause here and have a go, or you may just wish to stay with me. Will and Jill are in partnership, sharing profits and losses equally. They have a deed of partnership which states that each partner should receive 4% per annum interest on capital and that Jill is to receive an annual salary of £36,000. There will be no interest on drawings. The balances on their capital accounts are Will £160,000 and Jill £152,000. The profit for the year ended 31st December was 112730 and we're being asked to prepare an appropriation account for the year ended 31st December. You'll see I have put a title and drawn out my account ready. And as I say, imagine this is at the end of the income statement following on from the profit for the year. And indeed, that's where we start. So my first narrative is going to be profit for the year. And I've entered the figure we've been given 112730. I will then look to see if the partnership has any interest on drawings. And in this case, they don't. If they did, I would add these on. Some partners, when they set up their partnership or when they form, um, when they write a deed of partnership, they might decide to charge interest on drawings. And essentially, the idea is that when a partner takes some drawings, they have to pay some interest um, for doing so. So it discourages partners from taking drawings or at least from taking excessive drawings, uh, which could harm things like the cash flow in the business. If there was any interest on drawings, I would add that on because the partners are effectively paying that money back into the partnership. Um, but there aren't any here, so I don't need to worry. Next thing is to see whether there is any interest on capital. And there is. So I'm going to less the interest on capital. And this is something, again, the partners might decide to have in their deed of partnership, like Will and Jill have. And the basic principle is that they get a reward, a return on the capital they've invested. So irrespective of the profit that's been made, they know they're getting this uh, reward. Um, you could look at it as like an alternative to, for instance, investing their money. That Will could have put his £160,000 into a savings account and he would have earned a return. They've decided they're getting 4%. So I'm simply going to work out 4% of their capitals. Um, you can see my workings there. So 4% of £160,000 means Will earns 6400 interest and Jill uh, slightly less because she invested slightly less capital. And I'm going to deduct that from the profit for the year. Next thing is to see whether there are any salaries. When we talk about salaries here, we mean salaries given to the partners. If there are workers in the business and they are receiving wages and or salaries, they will be recorded as an expense in the income statement um, above the profit for the year. We're only talking here specifically about what we call partner salaries, a salary going to one or more of the partners. And we were told that Jill is to receive an annual salary of £36,000. So I also need to take that then um, from the profit. And that leaves us with £64,250. And the final thing to do is simply to share that out. So I've got a share of remaining profit. And again, looking at the question, we were told that they share profits and losses equally. So it's as simple as dividing that in half, give half of it, um, allocate half of it to Will, half of it to Jill, and total it off to check everything agrees, and the question is complete. Here 
here we have another question. This question is slightly different in that if you just look at the required, it asks us prepare an appropriation account for the nine months end of 30th September. So we're not doing this for a whole year. However, if you look at the information at the top in their deed of partnership, we can see references to per annum per year. For example, Jean is to receive a salary of £34,000 per annum. That means that any yearly figure will need to be adjusted so that it is just for the nine months that we're being asked to prepare the account for. You may wish to pause the video here and have a go at the question yourself and then continue to play the rest of the video when you're ready to check your workings and answer or stay with me and we'll look at the question together. Jean and Dean then are in partnership. They have a deed of partnership which provides for the following. Partners are to receive interest on their capitals of 6% per annum. Jean is to receive a salary of £34,000 per annum. Partners are to be charged interest on their drawings. Residual profits and losses are to be shared Jean two-fifths, Dean three-fifths. The balances on their capital accounts are given to us. And for the nine months ended 30th of September, the profit was £145,096. During this period, the partners are to be charged interest on drawings as follows. Jean, £620. Dean, £580. And as we've already said, we're being asked to prepare the appropriation account for the nine months ended 30th of September. You'll see I've got my title ready. And the first thing I'm going to enter is the profit for the period. I've called that profit for the period rather than profit for the year because it relates only to nine months of the year. I'm then going to look to see if there were any interest on drawings and in this question there are and as mentioned in the previous question these need to be added on because these are effectively like a penalty uh, that's been charged to the partners for taking some drawings. So add the interest on drawings and I've been given these figures for this period so I don't need to adjust them. It's simply a case of entering them and adding them on. Jean £620, Dean £580. Remember to add these because the partners have effectively lost this money. They've had to pay it to the partnership um, as a, a cost, if you like, for taking their drawings. So I now have effectively £146,296 um, to be shared out. But before I can share, I've got to deal with the other things in their deed of partnership. There is some interest on capital, a reward going to be given to the partners, and they are to receive 6% per annum on their capital balances. But remember, we are only doing this for nine months. There are different ways of working this out, but essentially uh, what we've got to do is make sure we have adjusted the figure for nine months. So you'll see there in my working, I've taken Jean's capital, 72,600, multiplied it by 6%, but that gives me a year's worth. So I've then multiplied that. I've um, adjusted it for nine months. So you could divide by 12 to find out what one month is and then multiply by nine. In this case, nine months is three quarters of the year. So if you prefer to use decimals, you could simply multiply, multiply sorry, by 0 0.75. You could even have adjusted the interest on capital of 6% and just multiplied the 72,600 by four and a half percent. Any, any um, method will get you to the, the right answer, 3267. And then do the same for Dean and adjusted for the nine months, Dean is to receive 4,329 pounds interest on his capital. That leaves us then with 138,700 pounds. We've also got to remember Jean is to receive a salary but again, that needs to be adjusted. So less salaries, just the one for Jean, but adjust it for nine months. She's only gonna get three quarters of that 34,000 because this appropriation account is for just three quarters of the year. Remove her salary, subtract it, and that leaves us with 113,200 pounds to be shared between the partners. And their deed of partnership provides for Jean to receive two fifths of this and Dean three fifths. So sharing that out in the said ratio, we can see then the amounts each of them are receiving and the, the, uh, sorry, the question is complete. Thank you for watching the video. 
I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please give us a like, share, subscribe and follow us on Twitter at Accounting How. If there's anything you'd like to see in future videos, please just let us know in the comments. Thank you very much.